shot that I can go. One of the most important things when you guys chop, chop and catch that red. Don't, don't be on your knees. Okay? Right here. I want you guys here driving with your hips. Right here. From here I can sink this on me, grab the ankle. When you guys lift it, take that ankle across. And I want my thigh right on his junk. Okay? If, if my hips are down here, it's easier for him to scoot back down and, and crawl out. Bring this leg up, kick my leg off, use that as a block so I can't get my turk, my leg turk. Okay? When I get my leg, when I even if he, he's got that leg, it ain't hooked. It ain't hooked. As long as I'm high here and I'm driving, it hooks itself. Okay? But you gotta have your hips on them, your chest up. You can't just be kind of right here, okay? Hips are going down towards the mat, and I'm lifting that leg. He's right here. Get that leg on hook. Try getting to your belly. <laughs> right there. Learn how to control this position is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, my hips are on them. Okay, they're, I'm not on my knees right here. Too many guys, when they get a Turk, they're on their knees, and now all this guy does is he fights hard down. He just keeps driving, come on, come on. and you end up losing it. Why? Because we're on our knees. If I stay on my toes and my hips are pressuring in, it's 10 times a battle for this guy. How long you been on your back with me in this position? If I get you here. How long are you usually on your back? A while. How long? Minute-wise. Minute-wise. Probably until he lets me back up. I don't let guys back up that much. Come on, give him a minute. How long do I torture you? Five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes. That's about right. And then after that, and then I got him broke. Then I'll let him go in his belly, and I'll beat the hell out of him some other way. Okay? Learn how to control the turf position. If you learn how to control it, guys, it sucks. You get a guy here, give me that arm again, right here. You get a guy here, and you run it right here. Okay, you're fighting right here. It's tough for him to get his belly. Right here, just keep messing with him. Okay? This is the worst position, one of the worst positions to get off your back, he, even if he gets here, right here. Guys, he gets right here and he's almost out. All I have to do is scoop that leg towards his head again. This position sucks for the bottom man. It's great for me. I love it, okay? I want you to focus on knee high in the uh, crotch area. When I give me rest, when I'm driving right here. Knee high, thigh high, and you know, almost like you got your thigh right on his junk. Okay? And then keep the pressure downward. Okay? Anything to add with that, John? No, yeah, well, that Turk position is very powerful and really it's a lot of control. Uh, you stand our world wrestling resource brands will show a reverse Turk from the backside. We can show that too, but anytime you can get this guy in place split here. It's, it's a lot of control. So I think, and the other thing, the weight's on it. I like this cross wrist, that there's a lot of weight on it. You know, everybody knows this role. I had a national champion hit these roles, Josh Terrell. He hit these tournament roles, but you know, he got the national tournament. Some of the guys, what do they usually do when you're trying to hit a roll with their head? Where does it usually go? Up or down? It usually goes down. That's why I like what Merrill's been doing. They've been smashing head, this type of thing. And, 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 and turn, turn this guy here, and, and they're hooking this ankle. But they're keeping the weight on him as opposed to, to coming off the side. If he puts his head down and you have a cross with it, it really doesn't matter. So you kind of, with it, what Coach Hall is showing, pretty much attack every defense. And the cross is the hardest way to break a hand. So that's why I like the cross wrist. There's not really much to have to add to a position that works. So the cross wrist will save a lot. Now, you might get a lot of these rolls, but the better guys are going to start smashing. Guys, I want to show why they're, they're going to hand fight. Hand fight. That's why Marrow's position helpful, but this cross wrist and those two are good combinations. Guys, one thing, I know a lot of you guys do this tilt all right. 
everything this way. Right here. Okay, your your chop right here. You chop, you get that arm in here. If you start coming here and you feel he, he's kind of shifting his hip, let's scoop his leg right here. Scoop it. Brands can call that a hand turn. You yeah. scoop the leg. Yeah, scoop that leg. I'm here. I can't, I feel, oops, sorry. Punch me in the face. I can't get him this way. He's waiting for me. So I use my elbow to fly right here into the third position, or the uh, tilt position. Okay, that's just something. Guys, you're never too old to learn. I was teaching that at uh, Tilt, where you come inside and you, you roll, and one of the guys from uh, my club over in Bayport, Wisconsin, he's like, well, I do this. I looked at it. I loved it. You know, it was just this last year. So, guys, don't think you ain't learning. The, the only reason you stop learning is because you shut the mind off and you don't want to learn anymore. Okay? Any questions on that last thing that I just showed? Got the cross wrist, he's, he's making it so he can't tilt. Use your elbow, inside elbow, and just circle behind him. Okay, we got enough to work on for about five minutes. Anything? Just work on that. Okay, let's go work on it. Go.